Chapter 29 The Message for This Time I have been instructed to trace words of warning for our brethren and sisters who are in danger of losing sight of the special work for this time. The Lord has made us depositaries of sacred truth. We are to arise and shine. In every land we are to herald the second coming of Christ in the language of the Revelator, proclaiming, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Revelation 1, 7. What are we doing? Are we giving the message of the third angel? The third angel followed them, the first and second angels, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints." Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. See Revelation 14, 9 to 12. The commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus are united. They are to be clearly presented to the world.